Welcome to a new video, the Easter video. Um, if you're watching this channel, you know that I finished my other vlog quite uh, <coughs> just now, like a few minutes ago. We've been to the park now, we've had some um, cake and um, now we're heading over to the swings. I think Johannes is almost falling asleep, so I'm very curious to see how he... Uh, how he's gonna do but um but yeah we're going to the swings and then we're gonna go for a walk <laughs> down to see if I could get the um, Easter cupcakes from our favorite uh, cafe from Roots uh, but I didn't know that they were like uh, you have to order them the day before oh yeah this is how I save my flowers by the way we have a uh, little douche bag where are you where are you no, it's not that one but it's the other one and he keeps eating my flowers like uh, he doesn't care if they're plastic real dried he eats them and I'm a little worried that he could like get sick or something there you are hmm? 
Why do you eat my flowers? Hmm? You're a booty scratch hungry, flower hungry, soft little ragdoll kitty. Hmm? That's who you are. This is Henry, by the way. I don't know if I've introduced the guys. But, uh, but yeah, that's Henry. And uh, this is Charles. Charles is the most cozy, non-cozy cat to ever exist. He loves food and he especially loves good food and um, he's normally very concerned with his own safety. He will like jump at anything, but if there's food involved, he is willing to like risk his own life, I think. Now, that's Charles. His name is Charles after Charles Xavier and his name is Henry after Henry Cavill who plays Superman. Hmm. Hmm. Doofies. All right. Back to what I was saying. Um, I save my flowers on top of the <laughs> on top of the kitchen uh, to uh, avoid them getting eaten. All right. We had a marvelous day with sunshine and cake. And you had a great day on the swings, huh? Yeah, it was so cute. I put him down on the swing and there was like this other mom and her little girl and he kept like staring at the girl so much. I think he uh, he really liked her. Yeah. yeah, she was so pretty. Yeah. All right, Easter weekend has started. Do you have anything you want to say? No, happy Easter. No, as always. You said happy Easter, no doubt. Yeah. We have a few plans. Tomorrow my uh, girlfriend is coming and uh, in the morning I'm just gonna clean the whole house. Classic uh, cleaning uh, adventure. Uh, Friday we have some family coming. Um, Saturday, Sunday we don't have too much planned. And then uh, Monday we're meeting up with some friends. The battery is now blinking so I will say see you uh, soon again. Okay, there's a new battery in the camera. I mentioned earlier that I um, that I bought some uh, leggings for Johannes. Or was it in the other vlog? I don't know. It's a little confusing this, doing two vlogs uh, uh, very closely. But um, I uh, bought some um, leggings for Johannes. And they're called uh, Silly Silas from uh, a company called uh, Buff. And um, yeah, I'm gonna open them. Wednesday evening so in Denmark this is actually like a Friday evening because you have Thursday Friday and Monday off uh, during the Easter weekend it is I think it's like 6 30 oh it's 7 o'clock <laughs> but we just switched to summertime so his routine is a little off and uh, he's still wide awake but um, you know that uh, thing earlier where I was like, eh, they didn't have any cupcakes. Apparently I violated some agreement that we had this morning. <laughs> Which means that uh, the sugar craving is high and the uh, cupcake uh, count is low and therefore we're going for a uh, sugar. Candy run. A candy run, yes. <laughs> You happy? Yeah. Okay, babe, since this is the Easter vlog, we talked about something a few days ago, which is like, when is it okay to lie? 
to a child. Yeah. Like I feel that it would be quite okay to lie about obviously the Easter Bunny, Santa, Tooth Fairy. Um, like it's okay to make grown-up lies that makes it easier on the kid if you don't have the energy like the ice cream truck there's this saying in Denmark that like among parents that if it's like ringing the tone which is like I'm here uh, the parent says like oh that means it's out of ice cream how sad we'll have to catch it next time you know stuff like that um, I would also personally like to send him his letter for Hogwarts when he's 11 but I don't know how to break that one to him. I do have my wand, so obviously I'm a nerd on that account, but what do you think? You shouldn't lie to the kid. You shouldn't lie to the kid. But like even about Santa? Yeah. Okay, hypothetical question. <laughs> what do you do then with the parents where he like burst the bubble for the kids that actually were lied to like about Santa and stuff in school? Then they will re regret lying to the kid. The, the truth will come out. I just keep thinking about uh, that one episode in Friends where everybody's like talking. I think Chandler and Monica, they're like, yeah, but like, I mean, who believed in Santa when you were little? Like, stuff like that. And then Phoebe is like, Santa's not real. And they're all like, you're so funny. And she goes like, like for herself. I'm just thinking like I wonder how many kids are having like that actual reaction on the inside <laughs> ah, I guess we'll see so uh, this was tonight's uh, little discussion topic <laughs> okay we're gonna go home and eat a buttload of, uh, of candy and then I will uh, see you in the morning why don't you say that when I'm asking? <laughs> what? <laughs> so he just said like, he actually thinks that like Santa and the Easter Bunny and those kinds of things are okay. But you don't like the thought of like misinforming your kid in, in case they catch you in the lie? No, it not misinforming the kid so that they will catch you, in, uh, that they will eventually catch you in a lie because then they won't trust you when it actually matters. Food for thought. Okay, now I'm serious though. I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> okay, final topic of the evening. You only discuss great things when you're out walking. Is it okay, please leave a comment below. Is it okay for grown men, we're talking men over 12 years old. That's grown. You're not grown if you're 13, that's not what I'm saying. But we're talking anybody who's over 12. Is it okay to go like biking with your hands on your hips? I find it to be dangerous and irresponsible and a bit childish, but we just saw a grown man uh, who was biking like with his hands on his hips, definitely not under 25. What do you think? You think that it's uh, okay? <laughs> That's what you said. <laughs> I didn't say it was okay, I said that it might have to do with ergonomical reasons, not because you thought it was cool. Because you're hurting your back, then I think you have to like reinstall your bike or something. Okay. I am uh, serious this time. I will see you in the morning. There we go. Hi. Good morning, everyone. Um, it's been a horrible night. Luckily, we have very few of those. And luckily, you're the cutest thing mommy's ever seen. Like, I've never seen anything cuter than you. Um, no, but he was up between uh, 2.30, no, 1.30 and 3.30. He was up for two hours. He was like roaming around. Um, I also feel really bad for him because he has like a cold. And I actually also woke up this morning. My back is really stiff and then also my throat is aching a little bit. Hi. 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 Yeah. So, um, the agreement that we had, or the agreement, the, um, the date, the, what do you say? Um, my girlfriend who was coming today, <laughs> I just texted her and said to her that we need to move it and we need to move it, maybe move it to Sunday or something. <laughs> um, 
yeah we need to move it to sunday so um i think this day has just turned into a sick on the couch do whatever you can muster kind of thing and um i need to clean i need to clean the house um, yeah and then we also need to see how we feel uh, for tomorrow when my uh, family is coming but uh but yeah good morning for now and uh we're gonna have breakfast because papa is in the kitchen Baby, you're on YouTube in your underwear now. <laughs> yeah, you edit that out, right? No. <laughs> okay. Let's get the day going. <laughs> Saturday afternoon yes you heard that correctly it's not even Friday it's Saturday afternoon <laughs> we've been doing absolutely nothing but uh, napping and recovering um, I caught a stomach bug uh, Friday night might have been the sushi I'm not quite sure but uh, let's just say I was in bad shape <laughs> uh, Friday old Friday night and um, we had to move our family uh, lunch Luckily, we could move it, so it's moved until tomorrow, Sunday. So, uh, so you still get to see it. Uh, to be honest, you didn't really miss anything at all, actually. Like I said, we've just been uh, napping and sleeping, and um, yeah. we've done some low-key cleaning as well. We're just missing uh, the last uh, last stuff, but um, we've just woken from a uh, one and a half hour nap. <laughs> You're the world's best napping buddy, you know that? Yeah. And um, surprise, surprise, we're going for some uh, cake. Yeah, that's what we're doing. We're going for some cake. All right. We've had uh, the best family time. It's been uh, so cozy. A lot of um, toys everywhere, but uh, you were so brave. Huh? He had such a good time with his cousins and uh, they were so sweet. They were really sweet, like making uh, sure they didn't like overrun him with anything. So that was nice. Uh, surprise, surprise. <laughs> we're having more cake. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna have some cake now and then we're just gonna hang out for the rest of uh, the day um, And then tomorrow I'll see what the plan is in the morning We're going to the playground and then in the afternoon if we can figure out some sort of transportation uh, I'll go to the summer house uh, for a few hours uh, Yeah I uh, just also have to show you this uh, original art from my uh, little nephew. He is my uh, biggest fan and I am for sure his biggest fan too. Look at how cute that is! So it's for Johannes, it's for Eric and it's for me. 